unchaste. He said, Thus it will be. Your Lord says, It is easy for me. We will make him a sign to the people and a mercy from us. And it is a matter decree. Jibreel, the greatest angel, visited Maryam and said to Maryam, O Maryam, we are gifting you. We are giving you glad tidings of a word and a spirit proceeding from him. And his name, the gift's name, shall be Al-Masih Isa ibn Maryam. Al-Masih is not the name, it is the title. Al-Masih is the title. And in English we say the Messiah. In Arabic, Al-Masih, it is a title. It's an adjective, it's a description. And the description here means the one who has been anointed. To anoint means to rub. Masaha means to rub. And in the previous Sharia, in the classical laws before our law, this is not our law. In the other laws, the law of Moses and the previous laws, when a person wanted to convert, they would have to be anointed or rubbed with a special water. They call it holy water. And this lives to this day in the uh, ritual of baptism. When Christians baptize themselves, there is a basis in their Sharia. This baptism, you rub the child uh, on the hair according to some traditions. And in the previous sharias, each prophet would anoint the next prophet. So John the Baptist, who was the cousin of Jesus, anointed Jesus. He made Jesus the Messiah by the name of Allah, by the permission of Allah. This anointing is the Messiah. This is the Messiah, the Messiah. And the name of the child was Isa, and Isa has been Latinized to Jesus. The, the, the letter J did not exist in Aramaic. And Isa never heard the name Jesus in his whole life. If you said Jesus to Jesus, he wouldn't know you're talking to him. Because J did not exist in their language. The actual name of Jesus, and this even Christians acknowledge and they understand. The real name of Jesus was closer to Esau. We say Isa, they would say Esau. When it was translated to Latin, then they said Jesus. But the actual name is Esau or Isa, the son of Mary. When the angels told Maryam, Mary, the daughter of Imran, that Allah is giving you glad tidings of a word from him. What is that word? Kun, be, and it will be. The word is kaf and noon. The instruction of Allah is between a kaf and a noon. Once those words are uttered, be, it automatically is. So we are giving you good news of a word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amazing, she is listening. She is obviously in awe. She is trying to digest. She knew that Allah is preparing her for something great, but she is getting the information. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, he will be honored. He will be honored in this world as well as in the next. Very honored man. He will be from amongst those very close to Allah in the life after. In the sense that in the Akhirah, he will also be very, very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be speaking to people from the cradle as well as later on when he is aged. And he is from amongst those who will be pious. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Maryam alayha salatu was salam, she heard this news. And she understood it very carefully. We Muslims believe Jesus was formed by the kun. And Jesus was not the actual kun. The difference between us and Christians. Christians believe Jesus became the word. So the word became Jesus and Jesus became the word. And so Jesus is a walking word. Jesus is the word of God. That's a Christian belief. We say Jesus was conceived at the word because of the word. Jesus did not become the word of God. Jesus is a human. And when Allah said, Kun, Maryam became pregnant. So Jesus was caused by Kun and Jesus was not Kun. The circle of creation and the Qudra and power of the creator was being closed. What do we mean? Allah has created without the involvement of a male or a female, such as Adam. The first human being was Adam. May peace be upon him. There was no male involved, no female involved. Allah said be and he was created from dust, soil and created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thereafter, the second probability, Allah created through a male without the involvement of a female. Who was created in that way? Hawa or Eve, may peace be upon her, through a male, no involvement of female. Then there was every one of us after those two, 
Everyone who came thereafter, they were created via male and female. That's the third probability. There's one more left to close the circle to show you the power of Allah. What is that? To create via a female without the involvement of a male, Allah left it for the time when Isa alayhi salam was sent. The Prophet Jesus, may peace be upon him, he was that miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created with no involvement of a male, not that he was the son of Allah, astaghfirullah. He was not the son of God, but he was a creature created miraculously by the word of Allah. What was that word? Allah said, be and he was. Just like Adam was created before, Allah says in the Quran. The example of Jesus is that of Adam. God said to him, be and he was. God can create him with a word. So if Jesus is the son of God because he has no human father, then Adam surely must have more right to being the son of God because he has no mother or father. Right? That's the logic. This is actually one of the miracles of the Quran. Say that he, the creator, is absolutely one. One whom all depends while he depends upon none. He begets not, nor is he begotten. And there is none in the creation that has any similitude to him. This is what the Quran sets forward as the statement of God. In the book of Isaiah, God said, Isaiah is my son. And he said, Abraham is even my son. And David is my son. God mentioned this not because they were born of God, but it means son means chosen, selected by God. A person dedicated to God, whom God loves and God blesses. By that definition, God had sons by the tons. He doesn't beget. That means God doesn't become pregnant, nor does God make anyone pregnant. By his command, women become pregnant. By his command, Mary became pregnant. But God doesn't beget because begetting and being begotten is a human animalistic function. In the metaphorical sense, we all are children of God, but not in a physical sense. Now coming back to the story, the angel Jibril, he came to Maryam and he blew into her. And Isa was created by the Kalima, the word, and that is Kun, Kun Fayakun. That's how Sayyidina Isa was created. So she became pregnant and it seems that her pregnancy was concealed. No one knew about it. And when she felt that her delivery is approaching, she left Jerusalem and she went towards Bethlehem. And when she got towards Bethlehem, she started feeling pain of delivery. So she fell down under a palm tree. Imagine the situation. Maryam salam has been hiding this pregnancy for nine months. That's difficult. And now she is leaving out of her town, alone with no help. And now she is feeling that pain. And it drives her and she falls under a palm tree. It was so difficult on her. At that difficult moment, she said, Would that I had died before this and had been forgotten out of sight. I wish that I have died before this. She was very worried. Why was she worried? On one hand, to deliver is a very big worry, tension. The secret is don't worry. That's the secret. But who doesn't worry? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all our women folk. The second concern, I'm going to take this child. How will people receive this child? I've been given responses, answers. I've been told who he is. I know everything. But these people will accuse me. They'll accuse the child. They might decide to do something against the child. What will happen? All this worry. And now she's going to deliver a child and she has never been married and she knows the tongues of the people and she knows the harm that they would cause her and her family, the righteous family of Al Imran. It became so difficult on her. She said, I wish I have died before this and I wish that nobody has known me and I has forgotten. I didn't exist. At that moment of difficulty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided her with Sakina. When things go to the level where it's unbearable for her anymore, she heard a voice from beneath her. The Mufassirin says that this voice belongs to either Jibreel alayhi salam or baby Isa alayhi salam. And this voice told her, Do not grieve. Your Lord has provided a water stream under you. 
and shake the trunk of the date palm towards you and it will let fresh ripe dates very interesting i mean i've reacted to videos about mary before and like i say videos have different information and there's a lot to learn i'm just wondering did her family know she was pregnant or not because this person claims she concealed her pregnancy of course people are going to talk of course people are going to shame her saying how can this happen and as far as i'm concerned or as i remember mary has always been uh, portrayed in a righteous manner like she was a good child she was a good woman and her parents were good too so people looked people saw her parents in her like they were good she was good as well so that's the thing i understand of course in this day and age when you tell people that's the situation i don't even think people would believe you another thing i wanted to ask is um what do you guys think would happen if these miracles were happening today would you believe them and if yes i mean what would make you believe because this is just insane of course eve was created as explained in this um, video jesus as well created without any man involved and i mean it's very very amazing like it's the fact that such a thing can happen is mind-blowing. There's nothing I could say, argue with, contribute, uh, say to add to this miracle that happened years back. And like I said, I really, really love to learn. And any information that I come through, of course, I watch it, sometimes research, sometimes not all the time, and see how I can apply the knowledge that I get from these videos let me know what you guys think about this video uh your thoughts if you want me to react to something drop them down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video